This is a $25 chainsaw, electric chainsaw. But mighty trees have fallen at the bite of this monster. Well, a lot of determination, I have to admit. I've seen a lot of videos online how to sharpen a chainsaw chain and a lot of people have very, very professional tools and very, very professional um, way of doing it, but they also have very professional chainsaws where mine it's worth $25. So I'm going to show you the cheaper way to sharpen a chainsaw. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need a vise. That's where you're gonna start. These files come on different sizes. If you don't have the right one, you could use just the needle file set and find the right one for it, but you need a round one. So you have to have a round one. To sharpen it, you have to look at the teeth that are on the chain. Not every chain has a tooth. These are the tooth that bite and cut the wood. One is angled this way and one is angled this way. If you look at the angle, you'll see this one is angled this way while this one is angled this way. Each one needs to be sharpened in the direction that they are designed to work. So if this one is angled that way, that's how you're going to put a file in. So you're going to put it in between the tooth in the front and the uh, tooth in the back. You're going to go against the tooth and just sharpen it that way. The rule of thumb is that if you don't want your chainsaw to cut crooked, you should count the number of um, sharpening strokes that you have on each tooth. Uh, but this chainsaw is so cheap, uh, doing that won't make that big of a difference. So this one you could just go randomly. It's a cheap chainsaw, but it works really, really well for what I needed to cut branches and other stuff from the trees. Even mighty palm trees have fallen under this uh, with this chainsaw and sliced in little pieces and put in the trash. So right now I'm going to sharpen this one, again, just bite against the tooth. And that way what you're going to do is you're going to create an edge over here that's going to bite really, really well and also an edge over here towards the top part which is going to bite very, very well. And if you have a cheap chainsaw and you're complaining right now that I am sharpening it the wrong way and I'm going to destroy the chain. You have to remember that these chains only last so long before they need to be replaced because they stretch like crazy and this one is very limited of how much you could actually stretch the chain out. So putting too much thought and buying too expensive tools to sharpen up one of these uh, uh, chainsaws sometimes is just a waste of time because chain will only last so long because you have to replace it. So if you get one or two sharpens out of it, it's all you need 